First kill. I've never killed anything. first always so memorable well it's your first so it's usually pretty awkward or it's pretty exciting but expectations are either met or you just kind of fail uh, the first really is always so memorable because of the fact uh, it's like the first you don't see it coming it ain't what you always think it's going to be you know even though you prepare for it the first of anything first experience is usually the experience that you it's, it's either a hit or miss. You make it's a make or break, and most oftentimes or not, it's definitely a miss. So that's why uh, the first time is so memorable because it's not what you always expect. Why is the first so memorable? This is the first time you're doing it. You've never experienced that before. Like, this is it. This is the first time. There's never gonna be a first again. Right here, right now. Boom. The first times of things are always really memorable because like either sometimes it's kind of a you have a super big emotional connection to that or it's like it's kind of taking that away from you sometimes or you're gaining a new experience and so anytime there's a first it's just something new and it's something that you've wanted to do or something maybe you didn't want to happen but it's still a first and so it's super special and it's great sometimes. First big accomplishment. Probably like learning to use the toilet. That's pretty big, right? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Cause you know, like everybody started, I don't know about everybody, but I started off in those cute little plastic ones that they would like put on the ground and then like you did your little business. And then eventually it got to where like, where you set it on the toilet. Like you could like detach it so it's like a little more cute still cause you're a child. And then you got to like actually using the bathroom. You know, like the actual toilet. And I was like, yeah, I was at daycare. I remember that, and I got a sticker, because you got a sticker for every time you went to the bathroom. I remember this, oh my goodness. Oh, that was so cool, because then you got to wear the sticker, and it was, everyone's like, oh, you got a sticker, and you're like, yeah, I did. Look at me now, bitch. My first best friend is me. Is you, it is you. And 19 years ago, in one, one day, day today, I so. went to the hospital, and my parents gave me my new little baby sister to hold, and I was holding her. And then my grandpa came into the room and asked me if I wanted to go to the playroom, and I threw her onto the ground and went to the playroom. Explains a lot of things. Explains a lot of things. But yeah, definitely my first best friend. That was our first encounter. Still best friends to Still this day. Still best friends to this day. Do it. We're not going to do that. <laughs> first sleepover. This one is not safe, but I'm going to tell it anyway. So I'm 11 years old. And I thought it was a good idea to invite like eight of my friends over um, for my 11th birthday party. And there's all eight of us in this basement of my house and we get done watching a movie and it's like nine o'clock and being 11 year olds are like, oh man, we're up so late. Um, but we kept staying up and one of the kids named Gary fell asleep on the couch. So we're all like just kind of running around in the basement and my best friend Toad says to my other friend, hey Millen, I'll give you $20 if you start running around naked. So obviously this kid thinks $20 is a lot of money. Um, and he does still it. Is. It still, still is. is a lot of money. And he starts running around my basement. And he says, what other way should we wake up Gary? <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. My first sleepover um, was at my best friend's house. For We had been best friends for a little while. And my parents were so overprotective. I, was, I didn't have my first sleepover until I was in eighth grade. <laughs> Besides having going to my cousin's house, that doesn't count, so whatever. But I was in eighth grade, and I went to her house, and she had a pool. She lived on this like lake. It was just this beautiful house. I loved it. It was so much fun. 
um, we kind of, we thought we had to live up to the standard too, you know, the whole pillow fight, girl talk, yeah. you know, movies. movies. My first sleepover was when I was six years old. My best friend Craig Marthaler, and I miss my mommy, so I cried and I went home at 11 o'clock at night. First time skinny dipping, that's never occurred because black people don't swim. First time skinny dipping, I was in high school, I think it might have been 11th grade, and it was just broad daylight at a community pool. I don't know what I was thinking, but it happened, you know. I didn't get caught while it happened, but afterward, uh, the head of the neighborhood watch did, you know, have some words for me. So it was pretty fun. Mm, first time getting in trouble. Uh, I was I was a bad kid growing up. I stayed in trouble. There was like <laughs> there was no I can't remember one time like I was the first time. Every time I was always beating. So I, I used to get uh, I used to get whipped. Yeah, with with belts. Um, uh, what's that called? Extension cords, Holy heat shit. branches. It was it was wild. <laughs> <laughs> it was wild. <laughs> my dad always took the belt. He'd snap it, but he never did oh, anything yeah. with it. Oh, no, no, just, no. The, just the look from him alone was worse than any beating. Oh no no no! They they hit the snap with the belt <laughs> yeah. just to let you know they were coming. I was, like, I was like, the, there was the like, snap. I'd be hiding under the bed for a while and come out. Oh uh, no, nah, mine was like they snapped it, and then I was like. Time to go in my room and drop my pants. It's like it's already moved. Like there's nothing I can say after the snap to um, to end it. It was just like it was, it was bound to happen. My friends and I used to sneak out all the time. We would go to this underage club downtown that would open around midnight, and it was open till like 4 a.m. So we thought we were pretty cool staying out late. So we'd go and we'd dance and we'd stay up all night. And um, it was always a bunch of fun because the people that were there were, you know, they're underage. They're either you know, tweaking on crack or something, or they were all smoking marijuana outside, or they were just drunk off their asses. It was always a good time because people were on all different levels, and then you just would go and you'd dance like these dirty Latinos that knew how to dance, and it was always a really great time. First time I broke a bone. This story is actually pretty funny. So, um, I was in seventh grade, I was running track, and uh, it was like a, a dirt pack, you know, so I slipped, I tried to break my fall, I put both of my hands down and I tried to roll and um, my wrist got really swelled up and my, my thumb was hurting pretty bad. So I went to the school nurse and um, like I'm in pain, like I can't even, you know, pick up my backpack. And she looks at my wrist, she examines it and she's like, oh, it's just swollen, throw ice on it. And I'm like, it's pretty swollen, it'll just be, you know, a sprain or something. So I call my mom, we go to the hospital, and I find out I dislocated my wrist and broke it in three places. And I broke my right thumb too, so I had two casts on for six weeks. It was pretty rough. My mom had to bathe me. My first crush was when I was five years old to a girl named Marina Falcon. Marina, you will never see this, so I'm fine. Um, Marina and I went to, obviously, kindergarten together. And uh, for our schools, um, Christmas uh, concert thing, I was Joseph and she was Mary. And I sat there the entire time. We have video footage of this with my face, this unbelievably bright shade of pink, the, just because I couldn't stop blushing. Because, you know, to a five year old, she was the prettiest girl in the world and I was going to marry her. But um, unfortunately, our relationship took a turn for the worst when she missed a ball and kickball in Fayette in kindergarten. And not only did she miss, but she fell backwards, hit her head, and started crying. And in what was the most uncoordinated series of events that I've ever seen in my entire life, the crush was broken. It was pretty heartbreaking. Oh, my first kiss was not eventful. Okay, I know I, for a lot of girls, we kind of set the standard for what we want our first kiss to be like because of, <laughs> because of like, um, we see it on TVs. So like I think people want a romantic setting of theirs. Like I wanted a moonlight dinner. I wanted roses. <laughs> I wanted someone to sing to me. <laughs> I, I was expecting you wanted the, the most. most. <laughs> I was expecting the most. But what I got out of it was I was in eighth grade and uh, we had band camp <laughs> and we were walking back into the building and literally my boyfriend at the time he just grabbed me, he kissed me. So I was part. I was partially angry and I was partially happy. So I didn't know what you want to take out of it. It was it was crazy. My first kiss was, who was it with? 
Sam level. It's high. How are you doing, Miss You? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Sorry, that's weird. Um, my first kiss, I was on a trampoline. Scandalous. And um, we weren't dating. We were, I mean, like, we were, like, kind of friends, I guess. We, like, hung out, like, in the same friend group. And then, for whatever reason, everyone went inside, and then it was just him and I out on the trampoline, and then we made out. Ooh, <laughs> made out the first time you kissed? Yeah, it escalated. That's me. I know. My first kiss was extremely awkward. We were watching a movie, and he's what was like, it with? Thomas Randall, how you doing? And he just like kept, you be me, you be me. I didn't think this might get weird. He just we're not in Kentucky. The movie. Watch the movie. Okay. He did, no, don't get that close. Oh. He just kept like inch closer and closer. Were you chewing like, popcorn? No, it was it was at his house. And then eventually it was just like our faces were just like this is gonna get I'm not gonna actually kiss you, but our faces were just like this. And we both were sitting there and he's probably like this far from my face and I was like <laughs> <laughs> Trying cocaine. There's a first time for everything. Anal. <laughs> <laughs>